and welcome to Press Play. I'm your host, Layla Mackey. Mobile phones contain many toxic chemicals that make discarding them a nightmare. As resources start to run out, it's no wonder that handset vendors are feeling the pressure and have begun developing devices that just might make the world a little bit better. Here's three of them. First up is struggling U.S. handset vendor Motorola's new phone called the W233 Renew. I spoke with Motorola's Tom Satchwell in Barcelona, Spain. One of the most exciting products which we have on the show today, Leila, is, is the W233 Moto Renew. Moto Renew is the world's first carbon neutral handset. We've worked and managed to get a handset with, made from remanufactured plastic water bottles. We've worked to optimize power consumption on the product, and we actually ship it in completely recyclable boxes. Oh, great. So I don't have to feel so guilty about drinking plastic bottle water. Not anymore. The Renew has up to nine hours of talk time, so you can charge it less often. It comes with Crystal Talk technology and messaging capabilities, and up to two gigabytes of optional removable memory. This is a good attempt at a basic and straightforward eco-friendly phone, but I don't know how I feel about that slimy green yellowish color. Next up, South Korea's Samsung unveiled what it claims is the world's first solar-powered phone. It's called Blue Earth, an odd name for what is, after all, a green phone. I spoke to Samsung's Derek Williamson. We have a new device which we launched later in the year called Blue Earth. Um, the device is made from recycled plastic. Um, it also has, as I mentioned, a new touchscreen technology which has lower power consumption. Samsung's Blue Earth is a pebble-shaped, solar-powered touchscreen handset. Like Motorola's Renew, the device is also made of recycled plastic water bottles. On the back of the eco-friendly handset, you'll find a solar panel designed to soak up the sun's energy and charge the phone's battery. Chinese vendor ZTE unveiled the Coral 200, which they claim is the world's first low-cost solar-powered mobile phone. The Coral 200 has an integrated solar charger built into the phone that allows it to be powered by the sun as an alternative to mains charging. ZTE says the environmentally friendly device will greatly benefit the estimated 2 billion people around the world with little to no access to electricity. ZTE's general manager of GSM handsets explained why they decided to manufacture a solar-powered phone. We care about the environment and we care about the green power. Uh, we think in the future, maybe two years or three years later, most of the people will be using the green power. So to sum up, if you're looking for an inexpensive, eco-friendly phone and you don't mind it looking like Slimer from Ghostbusters, then I would recommend the Motorola W233 Renew. For the fashionistas looking for a sleeker design, then the sexy touchscreen Blue Earth is the phone for you. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed our selection of green handsets. Tune in next week for Acer's debut into the smartphone space. And don't forget, Newsdesk this Friday.